Oh, God, I can hear myself again. That's just the worst. How are we all? We are back again. Well, I'm back. I've just sent Louise home for the day because, well, you know, she's done. She's done her work and she's out of here. I need to drink water today. I need to keep that where I can see it and actually drink the water. Look, there's a few of you tuning in. Hey, Tina. Hey, Elizabeth. How are you? All right. So, happy Friday. We are at the end of our day. I may have to um, jump up in a minute and shut the studio door. It is the most beautiful day outside here in Adelaide. And my neighbour's just got home. And if he turns that music up, I'm going to lose my freaking marbles. Anyway, so it is absolutely beautiful. I've got the studio door open. Louise is left for the day. The dogs are out of the studio. And I'm just going to make something pretty. I've cracked out my uh, Dina Wakely journal and I'm going to do something in that and I'm going to commit to it. I'm not going to put it in the too hard basket. I'm just going to make it happen. So today is 15% off Art by Marlene products. So there are stamps and stencils and there are so many different things. There's dyes, there's collage medium books, there are so very many, so very many, so very many. There are lots of cool things anyway. So um, <laughs> my words are not, not really working either. So yeah, plenty of things available. Sorry guys, I'm just popping my cord up out of the way so that I don't knock it with my heat gun. Um, so what I want to do today is I've had a little bit of an idea and I want to use the um, Vicky Booten gel crayons these came out a couple of weeks ago um i have done an art journal page with them already but i've had a bit of an idea on something else that i'd like to do so this is them this is them here and like seriously they just look nice in the packet don't they they just look a little bit lovely in the packet uh so they are fantastic they are a really lovely waxy water soluble crayon um, these water soluble gel crayons go on smooth, can be used wet or dry, dry or wet. There you go, says it all. Um, so yeah, really nice to use. So what I want to do is I was looking for some bits and pieces scrounging around and I found some Dina Wakely tissue and I want to add these to my page um, or two of them to my page. My Dina Wakely journal, so for those of you who don't know, the Dina Wakely journals are a, this is the black journal, I've just got a cover on it, I put a little little cover on it, but um, they are a, a multi-surface journal, so they've got the cotton paper, they have got burlap, which is what we've got here, they have got, um, this is the the cotton rag paper, which is this one here, and then this is the canvas. They have the raw burlap. They have craft as well. Um, oh, there's a bonus page. Um, they they're really 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 great pay. They're a really great project. I've done a few pages where people kind of get a bit freaked out about what to do with them. Um, I think I've done this before in one of the lives. Uh, this is one of the, I did alcohol inks with this and acetate from Scrap FX. Um, that's using the dye, Oh, I don't know. What have I used there? Stencil, perhaps, from Stencil Girl. So, lots of really cool things. I've done that one in a live before. Uh, I've done that one in a class. A few other bits and pieces that I've done. So, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to commit to this area here. I wanted to do this. So, I've got my gel medium. I want to add some book paper first because I'm going to stick her, her up here um, but I want to stick her with stick her 
pop some um, paper underneath her head. So to put on my gel medium, I'm going to use a palette knife because then it goes on nice and smooth and it also goes on nice and thin. Um, just gonna go down like that. Now I have put a bit of gesso on here and as you can see, I've half gessoed this page as well. Uh, I don't wanna put too much gesso on my page. I'm gonna also pop that down there. Oh, my dogs have just started doing zoomies inside. Seriously, guys. Um, and I just wanna pop, pop a little bit more here. I kind of want that to go like that. That's what I'm envisaging. And then down here, now because this is going on canvas, it's a little bit juicy. So that's why I have put on the gesso so that it doesn't soak up a whole heap of paper, uh, sorry, gel medium and paint. It, it does give it a little bit more protection, but I do want to get that on there like that. Ah, oh, there we go. And but like I said, by put, using the catalyst tool will enable me to stick it on and then wipe it off and smooth it out. It takes off any excess, doesn't leave it too bumpy. Um, while, while I have got this, so this is out of the, this tissue is out of one of the faces um, collage medium, the collage element books, books, what are they called? Oh, my words are gone. One of the collage element sheets packs from Dina Wakeley. So, okay, so this isn't ripping straight. What do we do? We get some water and a paintbrush and we wet it so that it tears nicely which is what I want it to do. So we just draw a line. I don't want straight edges anywhere. And now I should be able to tear on that water line. All right. There's a trick that some of you knew, some of you probably didn't. Hmm. I am all fingers and thumbs this afternoon. Hello to everybody. I've just noticed that you uh, there's lots of people tuning in. Stuff it, let's just commit to it. That's gonna go there. So I'm gonna stick down some gel medium straight over the top like this. See how I'm spreading it out like butter on toast. And now I'm gonna pop her over the top and I'm going to spread it out. With my palette, I'm not applying any more, but what I'm doing is smoothing out what's underneath, all right? Hello, Miss Wendy, how are you, my love? All right, there we go. So that is just gonna sit there and dry. And then with this one, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna get my paintbrush. Oh, bloody dogs. And I wanna round off that top edge. And just tear on that soft tissue paper where the water has softened the fibers. There we go, that's what I was trying to describe earlier. Or I could have done this off camera and not struggled. But you know what, where's the challenge in that, hey? Oh gosh. But sometimes it bugs me that these gorgeous designs won't tear or they're not they're not printed the right way on the paper so that they will um, 
so they you know so they tear with the grain pet hate tim holtz is the same it's bloody ranger products love the hell out of them but all right so here's my two focal points um what i want to do there's a couple of things that i thought about doing um yeah i like that i can I want to show you very quickly what the colours, while that's drying, what the colours of the gel crayons look like, okay? So you get them in the packet and you go, oh my God, they're so pretty. All right, let me show you. Let me just do a little swatch out here and show you how smooth and creamy they are. So there is the yellow. Next in the packet is the orange. Nice. Can you see that? See how pretty it is? And they're a bit smudgy. Uh, pink is next in the packet. Now, I would have loved that pink to be a little bit more vibrant. That's nice. I just, it seems to be lacking a little intensity. I do like it, but I just reckon it could be a little bit more intense than what it is um, if I'm nitpicking. See, the red's lovely and intense. The, what's next, green? Oh, that's gonna kill me to put that next to it. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna put, let's put the purple next to it. I like the, the intensity of that color. Uh, then I'll go with the navy. I like the smudgy side of it. I like that they smudge. I think that's great. This is the light blue. And again, that one's a bit like the pink. I, I feel that it could be a little bit more, have a bit more oomph to it. Now I'm gonna do the green. Yeah, there we go. Loving it. And then the black, we're just gonna get the black across the bottom, look at that. So that works. So those colors are pretty cool and you can see that they're a little waxy and um, they're really quite nice to use. All right, so on my page, I thought what I might do is, because they, I think because they're this lovely waxy crayon, of course you're liking the purple, Deb. That's no shock, love. Um, because they're this lovely waxy crayon, I feel the need to put it over the top of everything, right? So I'm just gonna dry this off quickly. Now underneath the canvas page, because it is canvas, I've actually put a, um, just a bit of paper towel, um, rice, like a piece of baking paper would have been fine. But because it is a porous surface, of course it's gonna go straight through. So I wanted to make sure that um, it was nice and, um, you know, didn't transfer through and it's nice and protected, so. Just drying these off. Making sure that gel medium's totally dry and I like to dry it from both sides. Thanks, Amy. Look, I could just leave it like that. It'd be super cute, wouldn't it? but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go a little bit rainbow. I'm gonna do something a little bit bright. Okay. Can you guys hear the guy with the blower back next door? Oh, it's stopped now. All right, I might just get up and shut the door. Hang on a minute, a second. Hang on a second, guys. Let me just... Sorry about that. I swear he just does it when I'm doing live Facebooks because you know, that's a thing. All right, so what I wanna do is I thought I might do a little bit of circling around this. I want to, to frame these images a bit. Um, I haven't stuck that down properly, so hey, let's just tear it up. Um, now, this is 
because these are like a, a waxy gel crayon, I figure they'll go over the top of this. I haven't tested it. I've got no idea if it's going to work or not. Um, sorry, I've just realised how crooked my camera is. That's a bit better. Sorry about that, guys. Have to look sideways. Um, all right. And I just want to do the smudgy thing. So because I'm going to smudge it today and not use it as a watercolour, I'm going to have some baby wipes handy. I think that having that um, handy is going to be really, really helpful to me. Just having a bit of a guess. So let's get into it. Let's just commit, yeah? Let's start here. And I just want to start by surrounding this image here oh that's nice and creamy look at that i'm not going to go in here yet i'm going to come back to that i think that i can make i can i'm going to need to do a little bit more detail in this area up in here but to start with let's just go with this i've got my little swatch here for reference my, i can see how my colors blend together I kind of like the order that they're in. I'm not too sure about swapping these two over though, but I might even drop the pink out and just go for the red. And I'm not gonna think about it too much. There we go. So yeah, I did pre-gesso just a little, not too much, just enough to um, seal the paper just a, just a fraction, perhaps. Um, am I going to add purple? I'm going to add a little purple, Deb, just for you, doll. You know how much I don't love this colour. It is not my favourite colour. But there's the token purple. Uh, but what I will do... I have to put them back in here because it's bugging me is now I'm going to get in with this blue and I really want this blue oh okay so there was no plan behind this this page I I knew that I had those faces um, and because I have never used this product before on like in this this purpose I haven't used it like this, so I didn't know if it was going to work. I honestly had no idea how it was going to go. But here we go. Let's Jill do the standard Natalie live Facebook thing and product test and come up with these ideas on the fly because that's what I do. And it's coming off my finger quite well. I know it's a bit rocky on the table. Sorry about that. Some more purple in there, what do you reckon? Look at me go. Let's crack that pink out. No, that didn't work. See, faults and all. Different finger. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to come in and do the same thing on that side. All right. I'm not worried about these gaps because I'm going to let that dry, see what happens and then overlap. All right. So now I'm working on canvas. Clean finger. Oh, God, I know all my emails are coming through at the same time. Are you kidding? Get off the screen be gone damn it okay so yellow to start with oh this is different and I'm gonna come back into this area later it's kind of nice on this So for those of you who know, Vicky Booten is all about colour. So these are her gorgeous, gorgeous gel crayons. 
Um, the color study kits, I have mentioned this a couple of times. Color study is her, her current collection and she's doing this amazing little mini book. I have seen it and it is awesome. I am exclusively distributing the color study kits for her and there has been, um, so you get with the kit, you get the mini album, you get all the materials for the layouts as well. It's a two day event and I'm supplying all of the material side of things. I'm not supplying the, you need to buy the class element off of her, which is $40 Canadian. Um, so Vicky's products, uh, the last of it is on the way from the States at the moment, uh, and I'm hoping it'll be here next week. I have had, again, massive delays with American Crafts. <sighs> um, and American Crafts have let me down. Is that the color I want? Yes. They have let me down again. Now I'm gonna wet my finger here because it's grabbing on this canvas, all right? Oh. So yeah, they've let me down by supplying to all the big stores first and not looking us, looking after us little retailers like, um, at, you know, they're, they're selling all of their product to the big companies like Michaels and Joann's and Spotlight and all of that. Now that means that they sent me everything that I ordered bar, I think it was five products They've all started slowly filtering in now, um, and the, I forgot green, um, and they've started slowly filtering in now. I've got papers due in this week, hopefully. They were being shipped today from the US, um, and then there's two products that'll come later in the month. So I will send those out later. But um, so the kits I think are $160 and you get everything that you need in it. You get about $300 worth of product in it. It's pretty damn awesome. So you can actually purchase those online. Um, I haven't sent out an email recently about what the update is on that. But um, if you are wanting to do an awesome class with Vicky Booten, then this is the best way to do it. Um, so there are some kits available for that. Okay, coming together. So the canvas is actually holding it differently, of course, to the paper. It's certainly not sliding as much. It's a little juicier, but it's working. I just might pop in a little bit of this green, which I forgot to do before. Just a little, just a, I don't want too much green. But I do, um, I do love the color study collection. is It's just so nice, um, and I've been given a heads up on what the next collection looks like because, well, you know, most of you know that I, Vicky and I have worked together um, at events uh, in New Zealand and in Phoenix, um, and Vicky is just a champion. Um, yeah, look, the, the, it, it's really, really frustrating, um, Wendy, with that whole getting getting the products thing, but it's out of my control. Um, but when I did inquire about it, they said it's because they look after their VIP customers first. Well, you know what I think about that. Um, I'm going to work back into some blues now. I think I'm going to start with blues and purples. So I'll go with blue, blue, light blue first. Um, yeah, so there are color, st color study kits still available. The event with Vicky is this weekend, um, her color study event. But the cool thing about it is, is you can watch it back at any time. So you are not going to miss out at all. Um, we, there's no fear of missing out at, at all with that one. So um, I'm super devastated that it's happened. But like I said, can't control it. And like my tattoo on my arm says, it is what it is. 
Um, so yes, that's what's happening. But I will endeavour to get in next time. Mind you, I got in first this time and they still didn't prioritise my order. Moving on. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm filling my background. I'm, I'm getting a bit rough up in here and that's okay because I have an idea on, on what it's going to look like now. Just a little idea, not much of an idea. And I'm smudging it while it's still, still wet, wet my finger, get a little bit of activation in there. And you can see what happens when you add water to it. It does actually smudge around a bit more. If I added a paintbrush to it, I could probably move it around. If I used a thicker paintbrush, there's a thicker paintbrush. That would also work. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of water on the canvas is going to activate it a little bit nicer. Okay, so um, for those of you just tuning in, um, I'm winging it here. I'm using the Vicky Booten gel crayons that have just kind of come in and I'm trying to find a new purpose for them, something that I haven't done before with them, which I've only done one other thing, so it shouldn't be too hard to come up with a second plan. All right, so the water is certainly helping on the canvas. Right, note to self. Not saturated, just get in that gap. Just blending those colours a little bit better. Yeah, right, okay. That's all happening. Look at my fingerprints on that. Oh, shit. Fizz. Oh, oh, did you see that? Mmm. Sorry about the whole swearing thing. It's been a day for it. I've done a bit, of, a bit too much swearing today on, on live on Facebook. Not ideal. Not very professional, is it? But then again, we're real. So this is, this is it. All right. So I'm kind of liking where this is heading. I want to get a bit of depth up in here. So let's crack out that black. Are you ready? Am I going to regret it? little bit a little bit baby steps with the black hey oh no I like it wrong paintbrush oh ooh, okay black scary Oh, okay. Need some black down here now, don't I? So it smudges beautifully with your finger on gesso and on this beautiful cotton paper. Um, totally different on canvas, which of course you probably wouldn't normally be using, but you know what? There it is. I'm going to come back and make that a bit more intense. I'm just going to let that dry for a second because I'm thinking I want to use a Stabilo pencil over the top of that and add some curly bits. Oh, look, I did a splash of water there and it's left a droplet. Interesting. Look, another bit, bit more purple here. The colours are super vibrant. Um, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, and the, the vibrancy has, does certainly show up. I think that the gel crayons are going to be super intense. I do need to now work out what's going to happen when I close my journal. You know, am I going to get transfer? Because like, that's an issue. Um, So naturally, I'm, I'm concerned about that. Need to find a clean finger. Hang on. 
Another clean baby wipe. Because I'm concerned, you know, I'd like to know if it's waxy, does it stay dry? Um, I'm thinking that I might need to seal it a little. Maybe put a spray sealer over the top. I'm having questions. So up in around her, I'm just going to smudge around her face with a couple of colours. I'm not um, concerned too much about how that looks. I'm thinking keeping her face white is definitely the way to go. Um, and again, clean finger. Would you rub some Dawl and wax over your pages when they're completely dry, maybe? Um, yeah, very possibly. If it's when it's completely dry, perhaps. I'm not a huge fan of Dawlin's wax. It's not um I do have some here, but I don't sell it because it's not something that I use all the time. Couple of reasons being if your products are excellent quality, you should not need Doylin Dawlin's wax. Okay? Full stop. If you have a an inferior product, I think sometimes they do require a Dorland's wax. I do know that there's some companies that make texture paste, for example, that is inferior quality and that they require, you know, they go sticky when your book shuts. Um, I'm a, I've kind of got to the point of, of going, you know what, I, I've stopped buying the cheap shitty stuff and I just buy the good stuff now. Um, does that make sense, Wendy? I, I tend to find the the lower the price point, the the the, the worse it's going to look on my pro. And I do want it to last the distance. Let's you know that's the truth of it. I don't want it to be um cheap and cheap and nasty. I might just hit this with the heat gun and dry it off. Um, yeah, I'm I'm. There's a couple of yeah. There's a couple of products on the market. I know. When you close your journal, they get all sticky and a bit gross. Um, I don't use those products. I'm not going to name those products by any means, but I do know that they can leave a sticky residue on your page. Will it work for this? I think that these will actually dry up okay. The quality is worth it for sure. Sandy's just said quality is worth it. You know, it's the leather handbag, vinyl handbag thing. You know, we all want the handbags. But we know that the, the leather handbag is going to last significantly longer. We know that there's a reason why certain handbags are a certain price. And that's because they are a better quality. You, you know, you totally understand what I mean. Um, yeah, and that's right. You do get, you, you start buying the products that are worth it. We don't want our... Um, we don't want our pages to stick together. So if you've been crafting long enough and you've you've learnt over the years to buy the products that are worth it, then yeah. I mean, it's the same as me with gesso. I used to buy the cheap gesso. Um, and when you're first starting out, for example, the Montmartre gesso is fantastic. Absolutely. But it doesn't give the same coverage as, say, for example, Liquitex. Liquitex are the company that um, developed gesso. So they are what I use now. I only use Liquitex Gesso for covering my pages. I don't use anything else other than that because I'm I'm using I'm using the 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 Louis Vuitton. I'm not using the the, the cheap knockoff out of China. Um that's my thing. You know what I mean. Um I've got a bit of blotchiness going on up here where the water has soaked in so I'm just gonna do that. All right, I've created a base. I've got a base here. How, what can I do next? Let's just, oh, I might just trim this off because I've got a bit of a hot mess going on on the side here. Um, you know, I, I, there's certain situations that the cheap Montmartre gesso is great. 
um, you know, when I've got a massive big canvas or something like that. But most of the time, I don't use the cheap stuff. Nine times out of ten, straight up. I'm, 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 I've, I'm up to the grown-up status now. I'm, I'm happy to say that. Um, it just works so much nicer. All right, I'm just going to pop some of these caps back on while I remember so that I don't damage these tips too much. Um, but I'm, I'm super happy with the coverage on this. I mean, it is seriously amazing. Um, I'm keeping the black out because I think I'm going to do some doodling with the black. And I somehow want to get some white on the page. So this is where things could go a little bit um, pear-shaped for me. Is with getting black and white onto the page, okay? Um, I'm, I'd like to do some stenciling or some stamping over the top. But I don't know how that's going to go because I haven't used this product for this purpose before. Um, so let's wing it together, shall we? Radio. Let's just make a plain spot. Um, this now has almost set, I think. It feels like it's it's kind of set. I'm going to bring it up to camera so you can have a bit of a close-up look. So you can see that on the cotton paper, it's actually quite smooth and it's blended really well. Um, with a little bit of water on the canvas side, it's not too bad either. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, right, let's find a Stabilo pencil. And I have got a fine paintbrush. And let's see what happens. So most of you know a Stabilo pencil is a black, black, black water-soluble pencil. It doesn't have a blue base. It doesn't have a green base. It is a solid black. And when you water activate it, so if I just draw a circle here and, yeah, just draw a circle there, then wet paintbrush, you can see that it's a nice solid circle, right? I can take that and I can activate that and make that a solid black circle it's a really 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 great thing to have in your mixed media kit the other cool thing that this pencil does that other companies don't do is when you draw something and you want to then activate it so quite often what happens is if you draw a line through like that with some other pencils, it can leave a like a waxy mark. Well, this doesn't. This just disappears. Like there's there's no evidence there that there's a that I drew a circle to get that black splotch. So I do like that. It also writes on plastic and glass and is is pretty permanent. It's a pretty pretty great pencil. So everybody needs one of these in their stash also have a pencil sharpener handy that isn't going to break your blade. Office works. The other thing about the Stabilo pencil is that it dries and it dries permanent. So if I left this and came back an hour and a half, I wouldn't be able to activate it. But what I want to do is I just want to activate some really loose circles. So you can see that I'm holding my pencil high so that it is loose. And as soon as I draw it, my wet paintbrush, not, not dripping, but I'm just gonna loosely do that. So same thing here. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Like that. So I'm just doing, adding these little highlights of black. Now, why didn't I use the black? <laughs> My, why didn't I use the black? 
crayon because it's too thick and I wanted something a little bit lighter, a little bit um, thinner um, because I want it to be a bit more doodly. Oh, God, there should be like a swear jar, but like a doodle jar for every time that I've said doodle today. How funny is that? So now I'm overlapping my lines a little and I'll come back in a minute and do some squiggles on it. But I think you can see what's kind of happening. And I'm giving it a little bit of pressure as well over the canvas to get my pencil into that canvas area. Hello, Alison Bevis. How are you, my lovely, lovely friend? I miss your face. This COVID thing is making me miss my friends terribly. Like my real, my real, real, real friends. You know who you are. Like, not that you guys aren't my real friends. Don't get me wrong. But... My people, who I used to see a couple of times a year. When you live in another state and your, your closest friends live. So it's not activating my crayon underneath because I've dried it. There we go. I learned something. I need to sharpen my pencil again. What did I do with it? Here we go. Um, Sandy... Sandy Spink, who I spent lovely, oh, I just broke it. Lovely weekend with last weekend. She uses her Stabilo a lot as well. Um, this happens because you use a pencil sharpener that's not ideal for the purpose, or you drop the pencil and it snaps it. Not ideal. I'm not activating the whole thing, just dragging my brush over it, just to make it. No idea where this, where this project's going. Just winging it like I do. Which is fine. As I get over these lighter areas, I'm just thinking a little bit more about where my squiggles are going. And this is where my acemic writing will go soon. And I'll come back over here and I'll do a couple of looser squiggles over here because this is where the where it shows up more, as you can see. So I, I want to make sure that yes, you can see it over here, but But it, it, it works within the project rather than stands out. I need to add a little bit of stamping in a minute as well because I hadn't thought about that until right this very second. So Dina Wakely would have drawn these images with this, um, pin, uh, with this Stibolo pencil. Um, that is her go-to tool for draw, drawing. All right, and I'm just going to stop there for a minute before that gets any worse and pull out some stamps. So just behind me in my stamp drawer, because I've just thought about doing this right now, I need to find a stamp that is kind of non-generic and you're not going to all ask me for. Have you got that in stock, Natalie? That's what happens. And then I say, oh my God, no, I don't. I've sold out. But. Oh. But I have a box of, of paper artsy. So let's pull these babies out. I've used that one to death. That could be a goer. If I open any more, Louise will tell me off. But she's left for the day, so she'll never know. She'll never, ever know. 
I like that one. I like the marks on that one. I mean, I just want to use that one on everything. Look how pretty it is. Um, and I want to use that one on everything. So cute. I might use those tomorrow. What do you reckon, guys? Um, okay. I have a couple in my hand. I was supposed to be using Art by Marlene products, but I've totally gone off on a tangent here. Sorry. Can anyone see my black archival ink? And here we go. Stop looking. Now, um, I just want to do some simple marks. I don't want to go all fancy. I don't need to go all fancy just yet. I just want to use some simple marks. So I have got here some dots. Yep, okay, dots are good. Sorry, headbutt the camera. One, two, three, four. That'll do. Five. I might just over here. I've got lots of different surfaces that I'm working on, remember? I've got, so up here is the gessoed background. Works for me. Let's stick that back on that board. So that's on the paper artsy set uh, number ETS25. This little guy, I like him. Why is it a him? Don't know, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. Like it. I made a goober here. Hang on. I need some paper towel to get rid of that goober. Do you know what a goober is? Everyone knows what a goober is, yeah? It's like a dribble mark. Oh, see? Okay. Bugger. I've got a stamp there now, don't I? Problem solved. Obviously, I had something that wasn't dry. Uneven surface is making it hard. Yeah, I like the crosses too, Chrissy. This um, this is a stamp set that I've had for a while. And I do love it. And I need it here. Maybe I go... Oh, I'll go here. Let's commit to it. Stuff it. There it is. Oh, and let's put a bit up on the top here. So is anybody up to anything exciting this weekend? Anything fabulous happening in your neck of the woods? I'm hanging out with uh, on here all weekend on Facebook. Um, Louise is picking and packing orders and I am getting my, I mean, seriously, I've got the better job because I get to make things at weekend, but she's not a crafter, so that's her bad. Um, all right, I just want to make some of these a little bit more intense and I might do that with my um, Stabilo instead because they haven't dried. Now, um, I was talking about this in my previous Facebook today because um, Archival Ink is a oil-based. Quite often you need to dry it. So you can see that it's kind of reactivating on top of that and that's because it's sitting on top of lots of different surfaces. It is a permanent black ink, which is great, but being oil-based, you do have to dry it just to give it a little, um, you know, if you're gonna work on it straight away. So the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because I was working on a slick surface and it wasn't super solid. And then over here, of course, I was working on an uneven surface being the canvas. So I just want to make some of these a little bit more solid as well. Um, oh, you're making soup. Oh, Sandy, I haven't eat, I haven't even cracked the bottle of Worcestershire sauce yet. What do I put Worcestershire sauce with? And don't tell me everything. 
Is it like a steak thing? I haven't had Worcestershire sauce in in years, so I I don't even remember what to put it with. Put it with anything. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that, you dag. And a bit up here. All right, so this is I'm I'm just fluffing around now, aren't I? Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're playing with these little crayons. See, that's not even melting anymore now that I'm getting in here. The black's grabbing, but this crayon, this gel crayon has pretty much settled in. Um, they are pretty cool. ESA 20. I like those. That's got some smaller crosses on it. Um, I might find your tribe. I might pop a little bit of that. Barbecue sausages. Oh, that could be dinner tomorrow night then. I'm sure I can watch Trevor cook a barbie. All right, I think I'm going to pop that there or there. Um, and I will give the Worcestershire sauce a go. Steak Diane. Oh, yeah, right. Scrambled eggs. Oh, no. No, Deb. Nah, mate. Not okay. How dare you even consider... Actually, before I stuff that up, I don't have an even surface. <sighs> so, I need to put something else under that, that to give that an even surface, right? <laughs> oh, nearly stuffed it. Now I can do it. Find your fire. How about I find my correct sentence? I'm going to dry that and then I'll write over the top. And then I'm going to add some asemic writing. So, of course, your asemic writing is your scribble. Now, every time I pull out this black Pintor pen, it's either this one or the other one, that's nearly empty. So I'm gonna get them both out. So Pintor paint pens are fantastic for for writing on just about anything. Yeah, right, so that's gonna go over nicely. So what I wanna do here, I'm gonna leave those like that because I think they look pretty great. Um, I think the thinner one might be better. Yes. So it's all about layers. It's all about layers. Now, I'm writing on canvas here. I'm not surprised that this is arguing with me because it's a paint pen and I'm really messing with the tip with the canvas. So I'm, I'm just gonna create some simple marks and then I'm just gonna work in and around to make those marks work. I'm going to intensify my stamping here because although I put something underneath it, I still didn't give it a lovely even pressure. I still shagged that up. Um, so Chrissy, are you still watching? Are you still here, Chrissy, Chrissy Maddox, darling? So for those of you who don't know Chrissy Maddox, find her on Facebook. Um, and find her especially on YouTube. Chrissy does some amazing projects um, on YouTube and has recently been playing with my new stencils, which is very, very cool. Um, I can't concentrate and do this at the same time. Um, Chrissy, hello sweetheart, there you go, she is still here. 
Um, Chrissy has been a crafter for quite a few years like myself um, and is a very, very talented, happy, regular crafter. Um, Chrissy is very much, and I mean this with the most respect, I say regular crafter because what you create is is like, I like to think like me, in the sense that we can both create things that people can recreate. We both have that ability to be able to um, make our projects look easy and I think that that's important. So go and look Chrissy up on Facebook. Um, so you can see that the, over on the canvas over here, I don't have any, um, it's, it's just not working. My paint pen is just not working on the canvas on the waxy crayon. So plan B is I've got that Stabilo again and I'm just going to still add some scribble, but I'm going to just let it dry in between, all right? So it's, it is working, but it's not like I want it to. So I think that these, um, these gel crayons are pretty great. I quite like what, what I have, have created here with them. I think that they are super versatile. Uh, and like I said, up until right now, I hadn't used these at all. It's not something that I had played with. Um, other than an uh, art journal page I think I did a couple of weeks ago in my private Facebook group, um, which you can be a part of just by joining, um, and that's what you need to type in. Um, and you can also get access and to pre-orders for Natalie May scrapbooking products and things that uh, usually go on the website and then they're sold out beforehand. So, um, yeah, you can get access to... Um, you can pre-order the new Tim Holtz colour there. You can pre-order all of the Dina Wakeley products as well. So, it has its... Um, you can, yeah. Hang out with the cool kids is what you want to do. All right, so I'm going to stop very shortly because I'm just making a bit of a dog's breakfast out of this now. Um, I think I just want to add a little bit of white splatter and see how the white sits on it. The white splatter is back here. We're going to go with the acrylic ink. Um, I'm going to bring it up to camera in a minute so you can see what it is. So this is the um, acrylic ink, the 13 Art Splash ink. It's had a, ch a small change of name. I can't not call it that. Um, I'm using an old cheap paintbrush for this purpose. Shake the heck out of it. Um, and like I said in the last video, yeah. Okay, Kelly. Scribbly ink. Scribbly ink would have worked, but if I show you what scrib scribbly ink is, I can't post it, okay? Because it leaks in postage and it's nasty mess. So I'm not gonna show it because then everybody wants it. And I've just talked about it and everybody bloody wants it, so I'm not gonna do it. All right. So, splash ink. So this is where I want to do a smoker's tap, not a flick. I need to smoker's tap. And I'm not doing it everywhere, just in and around where my stamping is because it doesn't call for, get in there, everywhere. Whoops, that's a big glob. Oh, see, I've got the big globs there now. I've got to commit to the big globs. There we go, big glob. It's a bit galaxy based. But yeah, look, okay, my review on the gel crayons, I really quite like them. I think that you can get a ton of, uh, you could use this for a ton of things. Absolutely. No hesitation at all. You could get lots and lots of uses out of this by using it in your art journal. You could use this in 
you could use them on your scrapbook pages. I look forward to seeing Vicky do some lives with them. Um, I think that she will do something like far awesome, far more awesomer than what I've done. But uh, I think that the... Stuff that up. I think that the Vicky Booten gel crayons are probably, for vibrancy, a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. They are definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, I think that they certainly have the ability to do so many more things. So I've used them two different ways today and you'll be able to go back and watch another one of my lives which I think I might put up onto Facebook or you can watch in the private group but you can use them I use them to create a background on a art journal page when they came in last week um, yeah plenty of plenty of possibilities um, but yeah, like I said, up until today, I certainly hadn't used them in my art journal like this. I'd never used them on canvas and never used them on, on watercolour paper like this. So um, was winging it completely. Uh, look at that. Lovely on the arm. Not my best work, but a good doable thing to do with the Vicky Booten gel crayons um, definitely my review worth the dollars I will happily use them again and again and again um, all right so that's kind of it for me I'm gonna let this dry and I need to add a little bit more black over over here intensify intensify this oh look if I play with it Okay, just just leave it alone, Natalie. Just leave it alone. Um, and then I play with it more. Um, yeah, so I like it. I like the crowns. I like the intensity. I think they're great. I think they are definitely worth the dollars, especially that black. That black's like super awesome intense. Um, I feel the need to outline this whole page in black, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to put the lid on and put it away. Um, they're wind-up crayons, so they're easy to use. Uh, so there you go. Super simple. So for the rest of today on the website, you will get 15% off of Art by Marlene products. Um, and I did a little post earlier. We've got a ton of stencils, and they come back to just over $12.50 each. And they are the Art by Marlene ones. So... I've got, um, yeah, these guys here, I don't know how well they're going to show up on camera, but um, these are the nicest stencils to use. They wash and clean really, really, really well. Um, I do like this geometric one. I might use one of these tomorrow as well. So there you go. And if there's football on tonight, like Trevor watching football, I might come back and do something with these. I'll see how I go. Um, so there you go. That's it from me. Um, please join the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community. Um, you are welcome to a safe, comfortable place of sharing your creativity. Um, jump online to uh, nataliemay.com.au and for today only you get 15% off of all of Art by Marlene products. So that includes rice papers, that includes stamps, stencils, dyes, that includes tags, that includes collage sheets, that includes the expensive little mini book dies, um, all of the things. All of the Art by Marlene things are on special. Tomorrow morning, I will be back again. I will do another live Facebook at 9am telling you about the special of the day. Um, there will be a new special tomorrow and there will be an awesome special tomorrow. Um, and again, I'm doing demos using uh, different products at 10.30, 1.30 and 4.30. So... 
that's it from me. I'm going to go and have a shower because I am still in my gym gear from six o'clock this morning. Uh, and I have got a kick-ass ponytail happening, which is the most unattractive thing you've ever seen. Uh, so, <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Um, so I look forward to catching up with you all soon. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. And as per normal, I'll take a photo of this, post it on my Facebook page with a link to the products that I used and uh, so that I can tempt you with more awesome goodness. All right, guys, I'll chat to you really, really soon. Thanks. Bye.